Well, good morning. It's uh, 11th of August. Looking at that blue sky, you wouldn't believe we had a huge thunderstorm last night. Went on for over four hours. Put down a massive amount of rain, but I'm not aware of any flooding. So, uh, anyway, what I'm on with today, spending some time in the kitchen. Now, Adam from Allotment Grow How uh, asked me if I'd sort of do another video on courgette fritters so there's already a video on it so I'm not going to do a kind of lengthy thing on it I'm just like a bit of a refresher if you will so basically to make courgette fritters and incidentally Steve from um, oh, uh, Digwell Greenfingers did a fantastic video recently on 10 courgette recipes but I'm not aware he mentioned courgette fritters so here's what you can add so we've got, um, I'll put the list of ingredients everything, but about 750 grams of grated courgette. You need about 250 gram of feta cheese or similar stuff. 140 gram of plain flour. A bunch of spring onions or a finely chopped small onion would do great. Three eggs. Some paprika, here I've got the hot stuff, because um, it's all we've got, but I would probably just use the mild stuff. Uh, some dried parsley, some dried mint, some fresh mint. I would have fresh parsley but I don't have any so we'll have to miss that. Salt and pepper, olive oil at the back there for here, frying. So what you want to do is assemble all your ingredients and then you want to squeeze the uh, moisture so if you can see here that liquid is what's come out of doors. I just squeeze it between my hands and you could put it onto a towel or something and do it that way. But anyway, so you wanna, the bigger the cause yet, the more water in it. So if you use a whole bunch of small ones, I reckon, you know, you probably wouldn't need to do that. But uh, this is one of those that got away on me and it was probably about 750 grams itself. So I need to get some of the water out. So what we're going to do is start to combine some of the ingredients and mix this in, into a, a sort of lumpy batter, if you like. And then we're just going to move over to our frying pan and uh, put them in batches of four or five and start frying them off. So let's get this um, mixed in. I'll bring you back. So what we're going to do is dump in our onion. Just bear with me one second. Okay, so I've got myself a fresh bowl here. Put in the onion, then take your block of feta cheese and just kind of crumble that in. And then just make sure it's kind of crumbled up as much as you can. Wash my hands a minute. Then you want to be adding your herbs. <clears throat> so in with the fresh mint. Then we <clears throat> about a heat to uh, teaspoon of dried mint and about the same of um, dried parsley and probably just about half a teaspoon of the hot paprika And then plenty of salt and pepper. And let's give those a little stir in and I'll bring you back. I 
Okay, so it looks like that just at the moment. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, put in the flower. Let's shift the camera again. Just mix it in. Then we're going to add our eggs. Just going to mix the whole lot up into. Once I've got the eggs beaten a bit, I'll add the grated courgette, so I'll bring you back. Okay, so now it looks like that. It's quite a sticky, firm batter, but once you put the courgette in, it loosens up a bit. So you've got to get in there with your with your hands. It's a bit mucky. Uh, so I'll put that in now, and I'll bring you back when the batter's ready. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. You can see that it's the consistency loosening it up quite a lot. So now we're going to just fry some off uh, about two, two and a half minutes aside. I use about a tablespoonful of the mixture in olive oil. So let's get cracking with that. As I said I've got a tablespoon, roughly about a heat tablespoon, I guess. And you just use the back of the spoon, flatten it down a wee bit into a sort of little patty shape. So as I said, I'm just going to give them a round about two and a half minutes aside so and then we'll just flip them over and then um, just I'll get a Pyrex plate or something with a paper towel on they can drain on that I'll bring you back okay so just start to flip these bad boys over maybe Give them another two and a half minutes. I use a, an egg timer just to keep me on track. Bring me back again. Okay, so I reckon they're about done. So we'll just transfer them onto this plate here with the kitchen towel so they can drain. And then get on put some more oil in the pan uh, and do another batch. So I'll bring you back when um, I've got the whole lot done, and we'll see how many it uh, it yields. So there we go, guys. There's 19 there. So yeah, you'll get it. I guess depending on how thick or thin somewhere between uh, 16 and 20 or 22 per batch and you can see that I've uh, blitzed another uh, load ready to do probably uh, we need to get some more eggs and cheese so maybe tomorrow or Thursday um, but we'll probably freeze them so we'll get a big tub full in the fridge they freeze very well so you can have them hot, you can have them cold, perfect snack food starter party food, whatever you like, and uh, I don't know, you know, that's the first Wenzel tomato, so maybe a big slice of that, sat on top of there, some avocado, and then really important, you want, you want to get yourself some lime, if you can't get fresh lime, um, stuff out of a bottle will do, but when you're going to eat to make sure you spritz some lime juice, and then maybe just another little sprinkling of fresh mint and you're good to go. Thanks very much for watching.
please uh, like, comment and uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already subscribed and uh, catch you in the next one. Bye for now.